cute little elfies welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome in today's video i'm going to be doing a client's nails so as you can see i am just prepping the nail by pushing all the dead skin and the cuticles back and you would want to be really really gentle with the step as some clients can have really fragile cuticles Next, I am going in with my cuticle cutter and we are just going to cut off all the dead skin that we pushed back. You would also want to be really gentle with this step because if you cut too much of skin, you would be hurting your client. Next, I'm just going to be taking some nail tips to make sure I find the right size for her nails. Next, we're going to file down the actual nail so that when we stick our nail tip, it has something to grip onto. I am using a 100-180 nail file. Then I'm going in with my nail glue, I'm just going to apply some nail glue to the actual nail and the nail tip and I'm going to hold down the nail tip on the actual nail for about 10 seconds and you want to hold that in place really nice and gentle. Next I'm going in with a special nail clipper for nail tips and I'm going to cut the nail to the desired length of the client. that it doesn't damage the actual nail. And I am going to cure this for 30 seconds. So as most of you guys know, I just started working with Builder Gel. So instead of getting a color Builder Gel, I just got clear so that I can play around with this and then eventually I will get into buying colors. So now I'm working with my second layer of Builder Gel and for this layer I'm going to be taking quite a bit of gel just to build up my apex. And for my second layer I just cure them each for 60 seconds. So initially my client wanted a coffin shape but then changed their mind to almond and I absolutely love the shape. It's the first time that I'm working with this shaped nail. And after filing down the nail, I'm just going in again with my ultra bond to dehydrate the nail and remove any excess oils. And once again, I'm going in with a thin layer of base coat. You'd want to make sure that this does not fall over to the sides of the nails or onto the skin. If this does happen, please make sure to clean the sides or around the cuticle before curing. 
because if you do cure the nail with a base coat that's sitting around the cuticle then this is really going to be a problem when you're applying the actual gel which will actually make the gel lift and peel off. So my client was going for a nude color and I absolutely love this color. It is one color that's used by most of my clients. I also feel nude is such an elegant color. It goes with anything and everything. It's just classy and it's just top tier. For this nude color to really show through, I'm going to be doing two layers. This is my first layer. It's not going to be a thick layer. Just a thin brush over the nail and we are going to cure this for 60 seconds. Now I am going in with my second layer of this color and you can actually see that the color is starting to show through properly. So my client wanted a Christmas set of nails. I know this is not red. She wanted a nude set. So as you guys can see, I'm just drawing a candy cane on one nail. And next I'm going in with a snowflake. And I'm going to be curing this for 30 seconds. After the nail has been cured, I'm going to be using my dotting tool to put dots on my snowflake to actually give it that snowflake effect. And before curing this layer, I'm just going to be using my white acrylic to dust on top of this. Once my white acrylic is dusted, I'm going to be curing this for 30 seconds. Then for our middle nail, I'm just applying a top coat. So I don't have rhinestone gel at the moment, but top coat works absolutely fine for me too. And I'm just adding in this pearls. So at this part, I've already put top coat for every single nail except for my candy cane and snowflake. I am just going to be taking a thin brush with a little bit of top coat and just putting it on the white parts of my candy cane and snowflake. And I'm going in again with my white acrylic powder just to make sure it has that nice shimmery look or crystal look. And we are going to cure this for 60 seconds. And lastly, I'm just going in with some of my cuticle oil just to make sure those cuticles are nice, nourished and refreshed. And you guys, we've got ourselves a nice nude set of Christmas nails.